tragen. Tragen is the German verb to carry. It also can use, be used to say wear. Um, typically, you also hear anhaben, to have on. Like, ich habe ein Hemd on, I have a shirt on. Um, so, tragen, today we're going to explore to look at the verb to carry. One of the things you're going to notice about this verb is it is a stem vowel change verb. So, if I'm asking um, formally, what are you, what do you carry? Was tragen Sie? Informally, singular, was trägst du? So there's our stem vowel change, trägst. Um, was tragen Sie? What are they carrying? Was trägt er? What does he carry? Was trägt sie? What does she carry? Um, if I'm asking a group of people, like a group of students, then I would probably say, Was trägt, uh, was trägt ihr? What do y'all, <laughs> what do you, plural, carry? So that's one of the most important things to note, is that this is a stem vowel change verb. Another way to kind of explore this idea of carrying um, is using the verb mitbringen. Was bringen Sie mit? Was bringst du mit? Was bringt ihr mit? Was bringt er mit? Was bringt sie mit? What does she bring with? So mitbringen um, is to, to bring along or take along. Um, I guess bring along. So this is a stem vowel change verb. So notice what happens is we separate the prefix. I'm sorry, this is not a stem vowel change verb. <laughs> this is a separable prefix verb. We separate the prefix from the verb. Then we conjugate the main part of the verb for our sentence or question. And then we want to go ahead and take our prefix and put that to the end of the sentence. So, was bringen Sie mit? If you were asking me that, I might say, Ich bringe meine, oops, meine Bücher mit. All right? So I'm going to bring along my book. So once again, um, you'll see that we conjugated the main part of the verb, bringe, for the subject. So subject verb. Then we will take our prefix and move that to the end of the sentence. Was bringen Sie mit? Ich bringe meine Bücher mit. Um, so in terms of what are you carrying or taking along, this could be something. Oftentimes, however, when we're looking at what are you carrying, um, it tends to deal with luggage. So we're going to examine this idea of luggage right now. So um, the verb for luggage is Gepäck, um, and so formally, haben Sie ein Gepäck? Do you have luggage? Um, hast du, right? One of my favorite um, constructions in German is this concept. You want to make sure you have. Was für ein? What kind of luggage do you have? So hopefully, especially if you're taking notes, you're, you know, you're welcome to put the German and the English as well. I encourage you to do that. So, was für ein? What kind of luggage do you have? So, let's explore some of those different types of luggage, shall we? So, das Gepäck. We have a Koffer. Suitcase. Tasche. Bag. Paket. Package. Let's take a look at Tasha. Tasha is used in other types of luggage as well. So these are kind of some basic ones. We have Achtentasche, Schultasche, Handtasche, Einkaufstasche. So bag, this becomes suitcase. This is a purse or a handbag. This is a shopping bag. Think of Einkaufen. Schultasche, a school bag, or in English, in American English, we say book bag. 
You also have a synonym for book bag, which is backpack, um, although typically um, more in American English we say backpack for a book bag. Backpack is usually, usually used for like camping or hiking, so that's a rucksack. So make sure you note all of these different types of luggage and look up and include their genders. That'll, I'll let you do that. That'll be your job. Notice that whatever the gender of Tasha is will also be the gender of these four words because when you have a compound noun in German, the last part of that noun takes the gender. So, realizing that, go ahead, write this down and, and fill this in, okay? For yourself. Ich mache eine Reise. I'm taking a trip. Ich nehme ein, eine or einen blank und blank mit. So what are you going to take with you? Um, maybe think of two different types of luggage that you would take with. Ich mache eine Reise. Ich nehme etwas und etwas <laughs> mit. If you wish, you can also use bring in, take with, take along. Mitnehmen um, would also be used, and that's a separable prefix verb. So write down what you would bring along. Here's a good sample paragraph to jot down. So, zum Beispiel, Frau Hermann trägt eine Handtasche. Okay, so trying to figure out which one is uh, Frau Hermann. Z is rot. Now, she is not red. Z refers to the purse, right? Because it's feminine. So, Frau Hermann trägt eine Handtasche. Z is rot. So, this is Frau Hermann. She has the red purse. Ihre Freundin Rudi trägt auch eine Handtasche. Ihre Handtasche ist grün. So, hier ist Rudi, hier ist Frau Hermann. Frau Hermann trägt eine Handtasche. Sie ist rot. Ihre Freundin Rudi trägt auch eine Handtasche. Ihre Handtasche ist grün. Looking at this um, photo, das Bild, the picture, was tragen sie? What are they carrying? You can also um, say, what are they wearing? So, write a short paragraph describing what you see utilizing these two sentence forms. Um, and go ahead and, and label this paragraph, was tragen sie? So, what does he carry? What does she carry? What does he bring with? What does she bring with? And watch your cases, nominative, accusative, and dative, as needed. When you're finished with your paragraph, you are finished with this video. Viel Glück, viel Spaß.